all this lesson, Lord God, and, and let the people leave here with understanding, understanding, Father, understanding wisdom, and knowledge, Lord God, right now, in the matchless name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. Father, hide me, Lord God, behind the cross. That no one would see me, but they will uh, uh, uplift you and they will see and hear from you, Lord God. This is my prayer and my plea. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And the church says, Amen. 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 And thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, we're in the midst of a good time. I don't know about you. I feel pretty good right now. I, I, I'm, I'm thankful, Lord, for another day's journey. Yeah. I'm thankful, Father, for the yeah. message yeah. that you have uh, uh, imparted to us to share with your people today. Uh -huh. If you don't mind, turn with me to the 13th chapter of Matthew. 13th chapter of Matthew. We're going to start at the 10th verse and come down. Read down to the Holy Spirit say stop. That's the 13th chapter of Matthew. We are in a series of uh, preaching the parables of Jesus Christ and understanding what the parables of Jesus Christ and why he spoke in parables to the children of Israel and those that were in the crowd. Uh, Matthew 13 and 10. And the word of God for the people of God is read. And the disciple came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whoso ever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him it shall be taken away, even that he has. Therefore I speak unto them in parables, because they see, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of uh, Isaiah, saying, which say, by hearing you shall hear, and you shall not understand. And saying, you shall see, and you shall not perceive. For the people's heart is wax, gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and the eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and should be healed. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. For thought, for thought right now, I... The deaf, the dumb, and the blind. Amen. The deaf, the dumb, and the blind. This particular lesson is a, a parable. And I, I spoke on last Sunday saying that a parable is a heavenly illustration to an earthly reality. Hallelujah. God, when he would speak to the masses and the, and the crowds of people, he would speak sometimes in parables. And, and this lesson just it just let us know that everybody that's in the crowd is not necessarily there or to hear or to receive the word of God. Amen. Can I get a witness on one? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, some of us come to church for one reason. Some come for another. Some, some come uh, because it's out of tradition that they come. Grandma went, granddad went, and, and we all as a family went to such and such church. I remember it was a time when, when I first started going to church, Phyllis Wells was the musician in St. Louis Church. Uh, uh, was called, um, I can't think of the name right now, but anyway, Phyllis Wells who played for Carl Red Missionary Baptist Church and, and the district, she was a district musician. She was one who, uh, I first joined the choir. Hallelujah, somebody. I joined the choir through her. But I didn't go to church to hear the, the message. 
I went because there was a, uh, before my wife, don't get mad at me, but there was a little girl by the name Cynthia, hallelujah, Williams, that I, I went to be with her. I, I, she sang in the choir, I sang in the choir. I got baptized because, not because I wanted to know Jesus better or, or have a relationship with him, but I wanted to have a relationship with Cynthia Williams. And I went to church, but uh, little did I know at the time that the seeds were being planted. Yep. The seeds were being sown. And this particular parable is a, the, the parable of the sower. Is anybody familiar with the parable of the sower? Mm -hmm. The sower is simply the, uh, the farmer that went out and cast the seeds. You know, if I got any uh, horticulturists in the in the house today, any any anybody in here with a green thumb, hallelujah, uh, uh, do I have anybody to remember how when you grew up in the country, you used to have to go out and plow the field? Come on, somebody. And then you, you sow seed Amen. so you can reap what? A harvest. Amen. You might have been sowing, uh, you might have been growing corn. Yeah. You might have been growing uh, peas, chickpeas, you know, snap beans and butter beans and, and all that good stuff. Okra. Whatever you were sowing, yeah. you had to sow seed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Jesus was sharing because the, the question was asked, why do you speak to them in parables. Uh, why can't you just, and everything about the parables, if you notice, there's a consistent theme in the parables. Hallelujah. Jesus just, just, just don't come out and say it, it was God who was doing the song. Hallelujah. And, and as we go through this lesson, you're going to see that the word of God is being sown in your heart. Yes. It's not, it's not the physical ground that's being sold in, but Jesus is making an illustration to allow you to understand that when the Word of God goes forth, uh -huh. it's supposed to be going forth to do what? To be sown in your heart. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. So that you will not sin against God. Yeah. That you will not only be hearers of the Word, but you will be found being doers of the Word. Hallelujah. This particular parable, uh, I ain't going to keep you long. It, it, it was talking about there was a man that had sowed some seed by the wayside. Yeah. He was sowing, and, and as he was casting his seed, some went off into, into the wayside, into the ditch. Yeah. Good God Almighty. And it says that the enemy sent birds and ravens to eat up the seed uh -huh. that was sown by the wayside. What is that saying to us today? That is saying simply that there are some of us that go to church. They hear the word of God. Yep. And their mind is so distracted. Yep. The God Almighty, your mind is on uh, what I'm going to cook this evening. Your mind is on uh, uh, the, the young lady that I might be going to go to see. Uh, what movie I'm going to go see when I get out of church. Come on, somebody. Uh, yeah. you, you be honest with yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you sit in church, you hear the message, but you're daydreaming. Amen, amen. God Almighty, you, yeah, yeah. you just, your mind is on the other side of town. Yeah, yeah. But the song writer said, yeah. my body is here, but my mind is on the other side of town. Yeah. Okay. God Almighty. And, and when the word of God is being sown, yeah. uh, it, it was supposed to be sown in your heart, it's falling by the wayside. Yeah. And everything you heard, has been ate up by the enemy. Amen. Could be something that can help you get a breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. It could be something that can help you get a blessing. Amen. But you're so distracted. Yeah. Good God Almighty, your mind is so distracted that your your mind is not stayed on Jesus. Yeah. Good God Almighty, in your mind, and, and and what the enemy does, the enemy comes and he plucks. Yeah. He plucks that all that helpful. That helpful word that was there to bless you, he plucks it up out of your heart. You can get, up, get home and uh, somebody asks you, well, baby, what was the message, message at church about today? Ah, I don't know, but, but the choir sure sounded good. I don't know, but Sister Pasquale, she had this big old wig on, you know, and it was leaning to the side. And, all right, your mind wasn't on nothing that the, the preacher had to talk about. You saw everything but the right thing. Amen, amen, amen. That, that, that's the seed that is being.
been so by the wayside. The, uh, the enemy comes and he hears and says, Hear ye there the parable of the soul. Yeah. When one hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then it comes the wicked one. And it catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he that receives seed by the wayside. Then it says, but there is another one that, that said, but he that receives seed on stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon, or alas, with joy he receives it. Come on, somebody. There's some of us in here. You hear the word. You receive the word with gladness. Oh, you, you know how to say amen. You know how to say thank you, Jesus. You know how to say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. You receive the word with joy. Uh -huh. Yet, it says, yet have he not rooted him, but endureth for just a little while. For when trials and tribulation and persecution arises because of the word by which he is now, he is offended. Uh -huh. Simply what that is saying is, you got some fair weather Christians. Yeah, yeah. Fair weather friends. And I don't even say they're Christians. They may be bathed in Christ. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. While everything is going good, you know how to say amen. Yeah. Shout. You uh -huh. shout to all your body pins fall out your hat. <laughs> shout to, to your, your wig turn around yeah. backwards. Yeah, yeah. Shout and get happy. Yeah. But soon as trials and tribulations come, uh -huh. uh, you don't have the faith to withstand because you haven't allowed Jesus to come yeah. in. And, and you have it with the Almighty. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 and, and we're talking about the deaf, dumb, and, and, and the blind. And, and these situations are really conditions of the heart. Yeah, yeah. God, you got heart problems. Yeah. You know, when you, when you are a person that hears the word. Yeah. And you come to church as long as everything is going all right. Yeah. You come to church when you're up. But soon as somebody step on your on your shoes wrong, oh, uh -huh. soon as somebody say something cross to you, well, well. and I, I I would often uh, say to people, why do you go to church? Yeah. You don't go to church for those people that's running their mouth about you. Amen. Amen. You don't go to church because uh, Amen. you. I, I, I assume you go to church because you love the Lord. Yeah. And you heard your cry. Yeah. And you pity every one of your yeah. wrongs, but. I, 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 I find out a lot of times that people, what, what they do is they get offended real easy. See, because one thing is for certain, two is for sure, God has a purpose for your life. Come on, somebody. God has a work for you to do. But what happens is the enemy tries to stop you from doing that which you call to do. My God. Uh, God ain't going to be interested in hearing you say, it was Marjorie's fault that I didn't come to church. Or it was Patricia's fault that, you know, it was Patricia, she didn't speak to me that Sunday morning. So I, I'm just going to stop going to church. Uh, I'm done. I'm not going to praise God no more. Patricia or Marjorie didn't wake you up this morning. and didn't start you on your way. But all of a sudden, you're going to start staying at home. Our churches would be filled with people well, well. if they were if they if the seed was cast on stony ground. Well. You know, if the seed uh when it when it when the root when it took up and it, and it just started coming up, Brother Salano, uh it didn't have root to, to really grasp yeah. and take a hold. You know, you gotta be uh rooted and grounded in God. Yeah. You gotta be your feet gotta be planted on a solid rock. Yeah. And God don't know, you gotta be anchored. Make sure you ain't a hole yeah, yeah. to a solid rock. Well, well, to God Almighty, because if you don't, you're going to be blown to and fro. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be a church hopper. Uh -huh. You're going to be one that when it ain't going right at this church, yeah. you'll go down the street to the next church. Amen, amen, yeah. And when you get down there to the next church, yeah, yeah. they're going to run you away from that church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, this is uh, those foul weather. Uh, those, 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 those Christians that they heard the word and it was and they received it on stony, on stony ground. Yeah, yeah. Then there's those who uh, received the, the word. It was cast, good God Almighty, among the thorns and the thickets. And you know, 
when you when you cast seed uh, amongst the weeds, yeah. you know what I'm saying. If you hang around with chickens uh -huh. and you know you're supposed to be an eagle, yeah. you're gonna start acting like the chicken. Amen, 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 amen. If I got any horticulturists in here, yeah. if you plant if you plant wheat, uh, seed, good seed amongst weeds. Hallelujah. What is the, the weeds is going to choke out the good stuff. Amen, amen, amen. The God Almighty. Hallelujah. What is it saying right here? Those that were seed was planted amongst the thorns and the thickets, they are those who uh, uh, are concerned about the riches and the wealth they have. Uh, you know, they only come to church when the church bank account is big. Yeah, yeah. You know, as soon as it start falling off, they start they stop coming. Uh -huh. These are those who are concerned about how what kind of car they drive. What? <laughs> what kind of house they live in. Yeah. Yeah. The God Almighty. These are those that are concerned about the riches of the world. What? The deceitfulness of riches. Yeah. Choke out the word and becomes unfruitful. Amen. Hallelujah. When your mind is Stayed on the bank account. When your mind is is on what you have, to yeah. God Almighty. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. You will allow that money to to cause you a problem. Amen. Amen. That that money will take center of focus on your life. Yeah. Yeah. To God Almighty. I'm good. Everybody, y'all y'all stay seated. I just need a little while. Ain't no COVID going on up here. Amen. And I don't want nobody going back to say pass the call. And, and, and now we got to shut the church down. I'm good. No, I'm good. I got some water. Uh, thank you, brother. I got some water over here. Go ahead and get your water. But listen, listen. When the, wor when the world's concerns take center focus in your life, when, 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 your, your, uh, when your material things take center focus in your life, when you are more concerned about what kind of car you drive, yeah. what kind of house you live in, yeah. you 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 know, and I've been to churches where the pastors will say, "I want the hundred dollar people to stand up over here." <laughs> uh, you fifty dollar people stand up over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We twenty dollar folks you stand up over there. Yeah, yeah. And 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 when all the time you're trying to be about the money, and your church is steadily the, uh, taking back the steps. Yeah. Moonwalking like Michael Jackson, uh -huh. going backwards because you are not focused on the real thing. Amen, amen. And that's God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Heart condition. One who is uh, more concerned about their finances. We got one more. I'm almost done. Amen. 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 Please help. Go ahead. Yeah. But there was one seed was sown on good ground. Yeah. The one that seed was sown on good ground, he is the one that heard the word. Yeah. And the word took root. And that word was like, it was like a tree planted by rivers of water. And every time the storm comes, he would sway back and forth. But he would not be moved. Uh-huh. <laughs> How many of us are like a tree? Planted by rivers of water. Yeah. I shall not be moved. Yeah. Makes no difference what Sister Pasquale say about me. Uh-huh. It makes no difference what, what, what the uh, mother boy says about me. Yeah, yeah. Makes no difference what nobody says about me. Well, well, I'm going to show up at church in the good days. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show up at church through the bad times. Well, well, I'm going to come because I don't come because... You are there. Yeah, yeah. I come because the Holy Spirit is there. Amen, amen. I, 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 the, the word has been planted in the heart of those, and, and those are the ones that that are few. They are the faithful few. Well, yeah. They are the ones that come to church, and that makes no difference what's happening. Amen, amen. God Almighty, they are the ones that serve the Lord. Yeah. They are the ones that will pray for you. Yeah. They ain't looking for no pats on the back. I wish I had a witness on my yeah. They ain't looking for no, no, because you didn't call my name, I'm going to stop coming to church. Well, 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 yeah. They come because they love the Lord. Yeah. He heard their cry. Yeah, yeah. He pitied every one of their groans. Yeah. And as long as I live, yeah, yeah. 
And my trouble rise. Yeah. I'll hasten yeah. to his throne. Yeah. Uh -huh. God Almighty, God is looking for devoted people. Yeah. God is looking for committed saints. Yeah. God is looking for those that have taken, the word of God has taken root in their heart. Yeah. Good God Almighty, and they ain't yeah. praying. The God Almighty well, to praise the Lord uh -huh. up in here. Well, they're not concerned of what, what people going to say about them. No. The God Almighty, uh -huh. if they get happy well, and run all around the yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah. The God Almighty, yeah. they don't praise God well, because you see that glory, but you don't know their story. Uh -huh. I wish I had some help up in here. Thank you. 